Hello, Daniel Lewiston here. Welcome to Content Grasshopper TV. Do you ever wonder why some people have their pictures show up next to results in Google? Well, that's called a rich snippet. And your eyes are drawn to those results quickly and somehow they make the results seem more legit. Now, I'll try and keep this video uh, as jargon free and as tech free as possible. There is no big scale detail cross industry study or studies that I could find easily anyway to show the difference of clicks on results with pictures versus those that don't. But one guy did his own test and found that clicks to his site increased by 150% and this improved his uh, visits and page views. Now, considering that one of the advantages of content marketing is to position yourself or the brand as trustworthy uh, and credible, rich snippets can help you. They also take bugger all to set up and use consistently. So for those of us who are trying to build a personal brand online, rich snippets are very helpful. So think about when a potential client or employer searches for you online and is served up with some great content topics with your picture right next to them. It also helps people stop stealing your content. So over the last, I think, sort of 18, 24 months, Google's made a number of updates to its algorithms that determine sites, how sites are ranked in Google. There are a number of sites that were scraping content from other sites and posting it and claiming it as their own and getting the, the search results, well, the search result benefits. And one of Google's updates now recognizes where original content comes from and does not reward any site for stealing other people's content. In fact, it punishes them. So some sites completely disappeared off the front page of Google overnight. The problem was some legitimate content creators were also getting punished because people had stolen and claimed their content. So tagging your content with your Google Plus profile also tells Google who the original author was and where it came from, and you will get rewarded with rankings. So how do you do it? Well, first you need to set up a Google Plus profile. Now don't worry, you don't have to start using the social media platform, yet another one. Once you have your profile set up though, obviously including uh, a profile picture, all you need to do is drop a little bit of code into your blogs. Okay, I'm sure there's a clean way to do this by hiding the code, but I actually like to use it and use the link to sign off on my blogs, like I have at the bottom of this one if you're watching this video in the blog. If you click on the link down the bottom, it takes you to my Google Plus page. Now you can grab an example of the code from the blog page or the description of this video if you're watching it directly on YouTube. And all you have to do is change my name with the exact name of your Google Plus profile and you can start doing the same. If you don't want to use your Google Plus tag to sign off your content, then have a chat to your IT guys and get them to have a look at how they can embed the, the, the code in the page cleanly. Until next time, thanks for watching.